Kitabu cha Wakolosai mlango wa pili mstari wake mdogo wa tano Biblia inasema Maana ni japo kuwa sipo kwa mwili lakini nipo pamoja nanyi kwa roho nikifurahi na kuona utaratibu wenu na udhabiti wa imani yenu katika Kristo sita basi kama mlivyompokea Kristo Yesu Bwana enendeni vivyo hivyo katika yeye wenye shina na wenye kujengwa katika yeye Mmefanywa imara kwa imani kama mlivyofundishwa mkizidi kutoa shukrani. Bwana isasifiwe. Kwa kuna mtu anaweza kusomea kwa Kiingereza. Colossians from verse verse 5 to 6. It says, For though I am absent in the body, yet I am with you in spirit, rejoicing to see your good order and firmness of your faith in Christ. As therefore you receive Christ Jesus Christ the Lord for, li- for life in him. Bwana is as if you Amen. The Bible tells us that although right now we may not see Yaani tunapopata shida, uwezo ukajua Mungu yuko pamoja nawe. But he is assuring us that although he is absent in the flesh, but he is present in the spirit. Bwana is as if you. So anywhere we go, let us walk with courage. We have been sent out to to bring people to the kingdom of God. Bwana is as if you. Let us not just go there with fear. 
because we have the one that is in us is greater than that one is in the world. So let us walk boldly. Let us speak boldly because he is not present physically, but he is present in the spirit. And when the spirit is in us, he is going to empower us to do marvelous. We are going to do great things because we appreciate the Holy Spirit that is in us. One is as if you tukiendelea hapo inasema we have to be to be rooted. You cannot go to preach the word of God without yani wewe mwenyewe hauielewi. You know shetani, shetani ni muongo sana. Na anajua neno tangu jadi. Yeye anajua neno he was a great worshiper. Yeye alikuwa karibu na Mungu sana. Na anajua neno kabisa. And he will use just that name to convince na kuonyesha you know nothing. Unakumbuka wakati watumishi wa Mungu, the disciples walikuwa wanaenda wakiombea watu wali pepo iliwauliza who are you? Tunajua fulani na fulani na wewe ni nani? Because anajua everything. So let us be rooted in the word of God. When you are rooted, the devil cannot dare to mishandle us. Bwana isasifiwe. Hapo tena Biblia hapa inatuambia in that same Colossians in the same Colossians in a, in a prayer, we have to to walk the Bible says in chapter 6 in the same therefore you you as you have therefore received Christ Jesus Lord so walk in him our main topic is walking with God we like singing I'm walking in the light who, who is this light once we know the light who, what is the light then we shall walk in it you are walking in the light in the light of God now let us examine what we are doing is it praising God is it making people to come to God? Because sometimes we do not need to speak out. We just need to act. Yani watu wanapo soma tu matendo yetu wanatifuata. Petro wakati alipo kuwa anamkana yesu. Anasema mimi simujui. Lakini waliona kutembea kwa ke Petro. Haa wakasema uyu ni mwanapunzi wa yesu. Kwa nini? The way he contracted himself. Wakaona tena. Kusungumuza kwa Petro wakasema apana. Uyu ni mwanapunzi wa yesu. So tunapoenda huko tumetumwa tuende tu tulete mioyo ambayo imepotea how are we conducting ourselves how are we walking in this god sisi wenyewe kutembea kwetu is it a testimony to somebody yani itamuleta kwa Mungu ama ndiye itamtoa kwa Mungu kabisa so whenever we go outside there let us examine the way we walk the way we do the way we we we, we talk you know sometimes we have friends and when, whenever we go outside there, usiende ati mtakatifu sana. Enda jizi walivyo ili uingie ndani mwao ili uweze kuwaleta. Because when you say I'm saved, I'm saved, praise God. Huyu mtu yeye ajui hiyo saved ni nini. So go there, kaa na wao, waelewe ili nao wakuelewe na uweze waweze kufanya nini kuwaleta katika Mungu. Lakini ukianza kwa criticize, most of them they run away. To go there, sit with them, give them reasons why they should get saved. What they should. Chinzi wana watafanyaje ili waweze kumfikia huyu Mungu. So we ask God to help us. Now when we read in 7, inasema rooted and build up in him and established in him in the faith as you have been taught, taught abounding in it with thanksgiving god may god help us to to know that now let us dwell in this verse 7 verse 7 is telling us about four things in asema be rooted in the word of god also in atwambia build yani jijenge ujijenge ndani ya huyu yesu unapojijenga ndani ya yesu unajua hakuna tatizo itakuja iweze kumwoa mahali pale Magonjwa yatakuja lakini juu mzingi wako umejenga juu ya neno la Bwana. He will keep you going. Now when you just kama 
unataka katika haya maisha yetu tunao poor issue if you just want to know that you are rooted or you are not rooted in the word of god uta kajaribio tu unajua hii church we were full but just a single thing hivi inakuja tu inakujingiza alafu unafanya nini unaanguka unasema i will not go there kumaanisha you are not rooted in the word of god when you are rooted in the word of god mambo yatakuja yani wanasema like that uh, the parable of the sower he went to sow alienda kupanda lakini mbegu ikaanguka njiani ingine ikaanguka uh, kwa miba ingine ikaanguka mahali pakavu ingine ikaanguka udongo mzuri so nini yenye litofautisha hizi mbegu zote kwa sababu they were roots ile ilianguka pakavu haikuwa ai ilikuli ilianguka njiani ikakuliwa na ndege ile ilipo anguka kwa kwenye mwamba kaudongo ni kadogo so it had no no root that in the hold sasa upepo ikikuja unatingizwa sawa sawa na wa kristo tunaweza fanya aje tuweze kusimama katika neno la bwana let us be rooted in the word of god we can only be rooted in the word of god by reading it because we shall be encouraged by this word when you are encouraged by the word but yani tetemeko itakuja lakini you will run back to your manual unasema no somebody like job alipitia na alisimama what about me ukiona jaribio nyingine ikikuja ya kulala njaa unasema wana wa israeli walikuwa kwenye jangwa na mungu aliweza ku provide who am i that one will make you stand bona is as if you so let us not be swayed we can only be swayed when we are not rooted in the word of god and also as christians we are many types Unaona kama mpanzi anaweza panda like right now unaweza enda kwa shamba unaenda kupanda mahindi na mwingine anaenda kupanda miti Unajua mti kabla hiyo mbegu yake ipate maji i break law hiyo nini hiyo koti ya juu ndiye me mahindi itakuwa iko juu tayari inaenda so wa Kristo kuna mtu anaokoka leo anakuwa na haraka sana anasimama alafu kukuja root zake kumba zijaenda chini anakauka haraka so that's why hata napenda wanaume sana because ukienda kwa church ukifanya utafiti wanaume ni wachache lakini the day ataamua kukuja kwa kanisa kumngoa hapo itakuwa ngumu lakini sisi wa mama tunaokoka leo kesho tunamsifu Yesu kesho kutwa mtu akisema eh mimi leo umevaa aje nimekwazika nimerudi kwa nyumba so ni kama maidi ishakuwa haraka ishakunwa aina aina mizizi lakini mti ambao umepandwa katika udongo mzuri utamea na utaenda juu na juu na juu na zaidi bwana yesu asifiwe so let us be built in this word of god bwana yesu asifiwe and when you are built we are rooted na tumechengwa katika neno la bwana mungu mwenyewe atakuja kutu establish unaona kama alipoosema huyu ni mwanangu ambaye nimependezwa na yeye kumaanisha nini alikuwa amemwestablish sasa amekuwa amemtambua huyu ni mwanangu kwa sababu ya nini alimuona amejijenga ameani ako deep rooted kwa wadi yake ambapo hakuna jaribio lolote linaweza nini kumwangusha so akafanya nini he came to establish yani kutilia sasa mkazo asimame vizuri bwana isasifiwe so in this word of god let us not sway the holy spirit is in us we are walking in it na atuje auto kuambiwa ukiokoka utapata mambo yako sawa hapana wanasema is when we have declared war na shetani kwa maana shetani tumemtumikia miaka mingi sana na he cannot afford us to lose us so he will continue chasing us it's your stand now get deep rooted in the word of god na shetani naye akikufuata atakuweza ata give up bwana yesu asifiwe so by so doing also hapa tena inatuambia kwa hiyo 72 inatuambia kwamba when we are established in faith faith ni kuamini ya kwamba huyu Mungu yuko na ninapomuomba anatenda na ninapotafuta nitapata inapomuita ataitika once you don't you don't believe or you have no faith you will not receive because anasema ya kwamba wale wote wanaoniamini watapokea unaona once you believe you will receive 
But if you don't believe, sometimes we go to hospitals. Unasema, ah, na nitapona kweli. Utakunya hizo dawa, utamaliza na utapona. Lakini sometimes unazate chukwe hii maji uombe. Na ukunye, chumeamini. Ya kwamba hii maji, si maji tena ni damu ya yesu. Ama ni dawa, ama ni tapona. Utapona, wana isa sifiri. Like, there is a day, kuna ndugu alikuwa na shudia kasema, alikuwa tu nyumbani na alikuwa na kazi mingi, anafanya kwa laptop tu, sasa wakaona awuya kubisi, wacha sisi tuende shambani. Sasa wakaenda shamba, wakaenda kulima, akiwa tu nyumbani, akapata ata. Na akaanguka sasa alikuwa anakufa. Sao mtoto akasema, "Dad, what's wrong?" Akakuja akamchikilia aka mkono kwa kichwa yake na si anaonanga wakiombea watu. Mtoto akamwombea na akaomba, "Baba, bariki chakula tunapokula katika jina la Yesu." Lakini huyo aliamini ya kwamba mtoto anamuombea pole. Anasema all of a sudden ali sweat. Na hapo ndiye alipona. Wakarudi wakampata ako sawa hawakurealize bila alitoa ujumbe wakashangaa he because i believe any prayer god will do na mungu akatenda bwana isasifie so let us be rooted in this word of god that we may be uplifted bwana isasifie na kwa hiyo tu tena akasema ya kwamba as as you have been taught abounding in in it with thanksgiving bwana isasifie watu tumepoteza mwelekeo kabisa kwa sababu inapopata kazi ah hiyo ni nguvu yangu hiyo ni masomo yangu hiyo ni bidii yangu we don't give thanks nowadays let us give thanks to for each and everything ukikunywa hii maji ambio mungu asante there are people wenye hawana maji unaona ukienda kama lodwa unaona mtu anachota maji kwa kisima hiyo maji yenye hata ngombe hizi lakini anasema this is the water the water ambayo tumepata sasa sisi tunapo Mungu ametubariki tunaanza kulia mimi i dislike kuna kuta mtu ako na chakula anasema ningekuwa na nyama kuna mtu anataka hiyo chakula tu anataka hiyo turungi tu hana so let us keep thanks for each and everything because without god we are nothing so in each and everything tukumbuke kuambia Mungu asante na Mungu wetu atazidi kutuinua Bwana isasifiwe. Unaona kama ukitaka kujua tena, yani uko aje katika neno la Bwana. We mwenyewe ngoja upate shida. Ayubu angekuwa hangekuwa deep rooted kwa word of God. Maybe tunaona mpaka mali yake kaisha, watoto wakaisha, bibi akamwambia mkane huyu Mungu fanye nini ufe. Lakini because alijua roots zake ziko ndani ya hilo neno na akasema ya kwamba nini sita i'll not give up yani for that hiyo faith mungu bila aliona alifanya nini alikuja akamrudishia in a double fold bwana isasifiwe so to, let us not sway sometimes we lack school fees we lack house rent we lack so many things in life but once we give thanks to god tunamfanya aweze kuchuka bwana isasifiwe so In this life, let us not give up. Chapter Kumesha Kanda Bitneko, our brother has told us. Without that roots, maybe wange surrender. Tunaambiwa, wenda katika in that kingdom, there are people wenye hawa kutaka kuwabudu, lakini bila waliona kifo, wali surrender kwa nini? Kwa the king, waka muwabudu. Lakini these three men, four men, let me say Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego they knew who they are serving they knew their roots they were deep rooted that they could not be uprooted for anything bwana isasifiwe so in this life let us learn yani tujipe nguvu tunajua yes majaribio sometimes inatutingiza but tunapotingika tukumbuke Mungu yuko na he is the only confidant huyo ndiye rafiki wa karibu ambayo ako na jibu letu ambayo Yaani hawezi choka you can call on him any time any any hour hawezi sema unajua kama rafiki naweza mpigia simu saa 8 ya usiku aniambie ah you are disturbing me but god yeye ametupea a direct line call on him any time bwana isasifiwe nashukuru mungu kwa maana anaenda kututia nguvu ili tu tu kwe deep rooted in his word tunapojijenga katika msingi wake anasema yeye ni mwaminifu 
na atatulinda na atatuongoza mpaka mwisho wa dahari imagine ours is just to stand firm and call on him and he's going to do marvelous in our life let us not be swayed na vitu oh nimesikia oh nimeambiwa i cannot go there you are not coming here to worship a man we are coming to worship god and god who is the creator of each and everything so our life is hidden when we we hide our life in him our life will be saved bwana isasifiwe barikiwe na